Let's see. Uh, so I was Charizard, Lucario, Jig, and Greninja. Haven't been Pikachu yet. And what has Sean been? He was Greninja and Jig. And... Hmm. You know what? You know what? We can go back to Jig. Screw Pikachu. Who has to be Pikachu all the time? We should have like a... Just a, 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 a jig off. Is that a thing? A jig down? A jig around? A jig, a jig something. I don't know. Kind of works. It kind of sort of works. Uh, well, it actually worked to where my selection was chosen last time. So maybe I can just I can choose this one. I'll choose Jungle Japes. From uh, the N64 Donkey Kong? I'm guessing. Possibly even before that. Oh, man, that's... Look, at, I like that little spin move. Did you see that? That was entertaining. We'll see who uh, Sean wants to be. I, I sent him a text message saying that we should... Uh, or he sent me a text message saying that we should do just Jigglypuff versus Jigglypuff since we're both clearly very bad <laughs> using the character. Just, just to see how silly it can be. Um... I don't know. If he doesn't do it this time, maybe he'll do it the time after. I don't know. He's taking a long time choosing his... I think it, that little icon at the bottom where it says selecting, I think that says that he's choosing his character because it changes icons when, it's, when he's choosing his stage. So in the meantime, we're just going to beat the crap out of uh, Sandbag here and almost die. Okay, well, it says that he has chosen now. Oh, I can't hit Sandbag with rest? There we go. That's pretty cool. I wish there was a way to wake up faster. Apparently, jamming the buttons doesn't make any difference. All right, there we go, finally. That kind of took a long time. But here we go. Jigglypuff versus Lucario. Okay, he's going to go with Lucario this time. Well, you know what? I am determined. I want to get a victory with... Oh, got him on the comeback with the rollout. I want to get a victory with Jig. So we're going to make it happen, and uh, in the next match, we'll probably do, like, all jigs or something. I don't know. We'll do something exciting. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. So this is a very fitting environment here at the uh, base of the Prism Tower, which is suspiciously similar to the Eiffel Tower in uh, France, which I know the, the region is based off of it and all that, but I just had to say that. So we actually got him up to over 100%. The downside in this matchup is that Lucario has the Rage Aura thing going for him, so the more damage we inflict on him, the more damage he can do to us. And that's not really too exciting. Ouch. See, look, he almost got a KO at 58%. That'd be ridiculous. I love that spin move! Oh, gosh, it's so fabulous. All right, come on, we need to nail a good smash here. Good forward smash or rollout. Ouch. That is not a good rollout. Man, that, that R sphere is just too huge when he gets up over 100%, but the back air finishes him off, so we get the first kill here. Drawn first blood is Jig. Oh, went for the grab. Got the down smash, though. And the, uh, the little, I don't know what that's supposed to be, pound attack? I don't know. I've always called it the Jig bitch slap, but uh, he got some kind of smash attack off. I wasn't really paying attention as to which one it was, but he gets the KO. But we got him up to 73%, so that's not bad. Not bad at all. I have to say, this soundtrack is awesome. Fantastic soundtrack. I really, really enjoy most of the music in this game. Unfortunately, that down smash missed. Oh, that pitiful range. Great spin move, bad range, and the back air strikes again. I love Jig's back air. Up smash, still not enough to take out uh, Mr. Lucario here. We need one more good smash attack like that one as he rolled, or dove, essentially, right into our forward smash, picking up another kill. So we got a one stack, one stock, not stack, one stock lead. Just saying that with a bit of an accent, stock lead. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the hat that I'm wearing. Gardener jig. Looks like a gardener hat. And the back air, again! That seems to be my go-to move. It works. And I've been, uh, I got a couple of KOs with it so far. And, uh, I've actually, I probably hit with that more than anything else. 
I walked right into that. I walked right freaking into that. Ugh. There we go, forward smash while he was just hitting in the air, I guess, trying to predict my play, maybe. Oh, and he extreme speeds to his death. <laughs> well, that's not good. I don't think he meant to do that. Uh, all right, that's going to be the end of this one. So we'll do one more, and it's going to be Jigglypuff versus uh, Jigglypuff, and that'll be entertaining. That'll be very entertaining, because clearly we're both, like I said, not very good. And let's just, let's just be real here. Jigglypuff is the most ridiculous character uh, in the entire Smash series. She's just... Especially in the earlier games, if you set her AI level to, like, 1 or something, it's just... It's very entertaining to watch her walk around and have no idea what she's doing, especially if you add a lot of explosives into the mix. It just, uh, that would entertain me for hours growing up as a kid. Just have three Jigglypuff computer players, or one, depending on if I had a friend over or something, and just, just watch them kill each other and themselves. Most of the times themselves, with, uh, bomb bombs and mines, and, you know, they would set mines and walk into them because, or roll out into them in the games after the N64 version, because you couldn't roll out in the N64 version, but you know what I'm saying. I'm just kind of wasting time here as we're getting past the boring parts. The Sing Attack! Enemies on the ground who hear this song will fall asleep. I think that said the more damage that you have, uh, the longer you stay asleep. But I'm going with the Bow Jigglypuff. And I think he might too, actually. We might be matching. We are! We are matching! That's perfect! Alright, so I'm the dark one. <laughs> that's great, we both had the same idea. Oh, that's perfect. Um, Alright, so he's light, bowed, jigglypuff, and I am dark. Just to try to... Oh, I think he thinks he's me. Yeah, he just killed himself. <laughs> yes, he lost track that quickly. Oh, and he got me with the rest! I jumped right into it! Are you kidding me? Picking up the early KO, that was just almost not even fair. Alright, now we're playing uh, catch-up here in the early part after he almost killed himself. Oh, I need to catch my breath after that. That was ridiculous. Ah, yes, the hump attack. Oh, Master Ball. Let's see what's in here. Uh, cure him again. And I will uh, fire up the rollout in case... Because you have to land eventually. You can't stay up in the air forever. Oh, it doesn't matter. She's... He, he, he slash she. It. Whatever. Finally got hit by it, so that evens the score. Thank you, cure him. And another Master Ball! Oh, he's gonna get that one. Uh, what is that? What is that? Oh, crap! Xerneas! I don't know what that is. Is that supposed to be, like, Geomancy? I think it is, because he's got the uh, little boosting thing like he did when... Um... Something was intact. I don't know. I'm trying to think. What, what was it? What was it? Uh... Victini! Okay, I could not think of the thing's name and it was driving me crazy! Sorry, I was trying to concentrate and think of the name at the same time. <laughs> it was not working out. Oh, man. This is silliness. This is silliness at its finest. I don't know how I hit that. Gardevoir? Doesn't do much. Except reflect projectiles that we don't have, obviously, because we're Jigglypuffs. It would be great if Jigglypuff had uh, any kind of projectiles. That would make her a whole a lot better. And the pound attack as he was trying to charge his rollout. It's perfect. You're not getting me with that. You're not getting me with that. Never again. Oh, man. The slaps. I love that she... <laughs> pimp slaps. <laughs> when she grabs... Oh, uh, it's too, too funny. All right, Kyogre. we we'll would be getting a lot of Master Balls. Oh, you are probably dead. You are probably dead. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. It is perfect. Man, those slaps are savage. I would not want to be on the receiving end of those smacks. I'm telling you that right now. Another Master Ball. Wow, okay. Giratina is huge, and I have no idea what it does. I don't know what that is. Is that supposed to be like Ominous Wind? Or Dragon Pulse, maybe? Possibly Dragon Pulse, but it's very easy to avoid. And it only attacks like three or four times? That's not bad at all. But uh, we got nine seconds to try to stay alive. We have 113%. Just keep doing rollout. <laughs> I think we're safe. I think we won this one. Oh, man. And we just we just go to town with the smacks to finish the match. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, 
my gosh, that was ridiculous. All right, we win that one. I don't even know by how many socks. It doesn't matter. It was just, it was just outrageousness. At its finest right there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little session. I'm sure we'll do more, uh, but we just wanted to do this in honor of uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire coming out on Friday. And yeah, so we'll probably do some more sessions, especially because I'm going to be uh, heading back home to the Pennsylvania area where Sean lives. So we might record some other stuff uh, while I'm there. So you might have that to look forward to, like after Christmas or something. So that is pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure you're leaving a like rating or a comment or whatever you would like to do. And I will see you all next time. But until then, game on.